Oops. Desire, Professor Fart Pants. Look at the views. God, it's beautiful down here. I'm just near the West Virginia line. I'm still in PA, but... There's a bunch of turkeys right down here. It's funny, there's a whole bunch of turkeys. I don't know if you can see them. Right there. There's one, two, three, four. I think there's two big gobblers fanning out. And a bunch of hens, three or four hens. And then there's two deer standing right there with them. There's another gobbler or something over there. And there's, some, I think it's cattle down in there. God, it's freaking beautiful down here. So I got this job underway. I'll make some videos tomorrow. Got a bunch of cut. I'm telling you what, man, this this area down here is just gorgeous. Tell you what, you wear a set of brakes out quick on an overloaded pickup. I know that. Man, is it beautiful down here. So, yeah, I'm only like... Actually, I think this road that I'm on kind of goes back and forth between West Virginia and PA. I'm not sure, but I think it does back there where I got on it. Kind of finding another way back to the motel. Just putzing along. I work till 6:30. I just figured out. Ah, come around, see what I can find here. And see if there's a different route. Man, is it gorgeous! Look at all the flowers. The daffodils are all popped out. The leaves are coming out. Green, you know, they're starting to bud up green. Greening up, man. I love it. There's that, whatever that is. It ain't dogwood. That is too early for dogwood, but I can't remember what that's called. Juneberry, maybe? Like, oh, that is dogwood. I think that is dogwood bloomed out. Wow. That's real early for dogwood. Oh, I think that was dogwood. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it's just getting nice. But anyway, I'm cutting some real nice timber. I'm supposed to get the doozy moved on tomorrow and the, uh, Skitter, so we ought to get making wood skin hell here. So it's golf course. Imagine that out here in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Yeah, it is gorgeous out here. Wow. Yeah, Mammy and I came down through here when we went and looked at the job. Yeah, look at this place. Boy, there's some gorgeous places down here. It's remote. It's like 30 miles from the motel down into nothing down here. I mean, it's just a little... Little bow dump. A couple of villages here and there. And farmhouses here and there. Wow. Wow, it is beautiful. But this road I'm on, it... Well, I've gone on 16... 9, 17 miles from the job and it's been mostly right at the top of this ridge I hear it switching back here I should have got it on camera back I don't know, 5-6 miles ago there was two switchbacks I'm telling you, it looks like a four wheeler trail I mean it just goes right back around like you know, 180 degrees look at the deer standing right in the yard right there hey guys Anyway, yeah, I, I don't have any uh, cell reception down there to put a video up, so I'll have to make a vid, put it up at the hotel. There ain't no reception down there. Just if I stand in one place in the landing, I can get a phone call out, which is kind of good. I'm working down there by myself, but I'm in Kimmy, you know. I feel all right. You know, I'm pretty... Pretty safe, I think. I don't know. All right. Well, listen. I'll put this up. Say howdy to everyone, and I'll I'll make us a vid or two. So cattle up there. God, this place is gorgeous. This actually reminds me a lot of where we were in Australia. I don't know why. It just does. It looks a lot like where we were in New Zealand. Just the way these hills are and stuff. Farms. Look at that place. Isn't that pretty? That's a new house. I think a lot of these farmers, you know, 
rightfully and deservedly so. Got some good uh, <coughs> gas royalties from all the natural gas down here. There's some massive gas wells things down here. I'll try and get a bit of them too. Coal, big coal mines, freaking cool. All right, Yost Farm. All right, guys, I'll tell y'all. Talk to you later.